Good morning, bro. Good morning. This is my neighbor, Dylan. He's just waking up three hours after his alarm had gone off for nine. He plays basketball, baseball, and he loves to sing love songs. Well, of course, he is Filipino. Somehow, all the Filipinos I know can sing. Anyways, welcome to Day in the Life of a Sport Media Student. Yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? We're inside of my room right now. Oban just woke me up. I woke up five minutes ago. No, I'm just playing. I was in the middle of my thousand push-up workout routine. Little room tour. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's start out, let's start off right here actually. So uh, as you know, this is um Kanye West College Dropout. I got myself the C D of this. Arguably one of the greatest albums of all time, but I'm just saying, I don't know. Might just might just be me. But this is my bed. Everywhere I get my good night's sleep. So right now, actually I'm reading this book. It's called The Paradox of Choice. Um, I'm about 15 pages in, and uh, it's about why more is less. And Do you have like a reading routine, or you just think Nah, so wh sometimes when I feel motivated, I read it. Sometimes when I want to educate myself, you know, when I want to feel smart. But this book is basically ab about... It's about... Um, I'll, I'll tell you that later on when I, when I read more of the book. Man, all this talk is going to be hungry, bro. Bro, which team should go eat, man? Bro, you know me. Bro, you gotta hit them with a little Filipino. Kamusta? Oh. Very well, thank you. You see, I pride myself on my tiny Tagalog. <laughs> Bank. We're outside right now. Yeah. Welcome to Channel 8 News. Getting hit by a, a hailstorm. I am here with my boy Dylan. Yo. And these weathers, these weather conditions, they are not looking the best right now. We're here, camera to camera, mano to mano. Mano y mano. With the man, yes, Dylan Isog. <laughs> Straight from Vancouver. Yeah, now in the big TO. So tell me. I'm a Vancouver person, or rather, I'm, a, I'm from Vancouver with you, mm. and you have just come into Toronto, you have done the last four weeks here. Just give me like a quick breakdown on your entire experience in Toronto, man. You know what I'm saying? Tor Toronto's kind of like downtown Vancouver, times a thousand. It's like so many more people. But everywhere you go, you're going to be able to find food, you're going to be able to find every single race you can imagine, and you can just find like, like, Everybody's live, but you can I can literally hear people partying it, right now. All the time, everywhere man. Been, everywhere I've been, you can hear DJs, bro. There's so many DJs the, in the city. There's just something happening out here, for real. It's always live, man. So it's like, it's, it's good, bro. The vibes are good. So now, is there any part of downtown Vancouver that you would say is better than Toronto, though? Ooh. All right, this is a tough one. Okay. Let me think. Because you be talking about white spot a lot. Okay. For people that don't know, you have Manitoba viewers at home. <laughs> viewers at home. You guys don't know White Spot. It's a Vancouver thing. American people, like, our audio people, like, okay, <laughs> Ali, Ali, do you know White Spot? Okay, nobody knows White Spot. People don't know White Spot. People don't know, um, what's another one? What was I saying? Another one? No, people don't know? the only one you told me about was Red White Robin. Spot. Red Robin is a White Spot, all right? Red Robin is a burger place. It's fire. If anybody's ever in BC, go there. White spot, um, they took their chicken pot pie off the menu, which I'm like, I'm so mad about. They got legendary burgers. They got this thing called a pirate pack, where it's like a, like a pirate ship. Okay. There's like a meal in it, but it's only for kids though. I, I, I can't order it. Wait, so there's actually an age limit on who can buy it now? I don't I don't think there's a firm age limit, but like, if you see like a 30 year old like ordering it, you're like, dang. You're like, bro. dang, you, you should not be getting that. Sport media. We, got, we want to know the, the entire backstory to this. Why is it Sport Media, bro? Why am I in Sport Media or why? What why is sport yeah, why did you choose Sport okay, Media? So, some of the reasons I chose Sport Media, right? So, when I was growing up, I played sports. You know, I played basketball, baseball, I was in track. You know, I like to swim. You know, I do all, do all this stuff. Yeah. And I was grade two, you know, when I was like young, I was like, you know, what if I made it to the NBA or the MLB? You know, what if I went to the NFL? You know, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, dreams, bro. I realized, like, yo, I was like playing basketball grade. He's like, there's this guy, like six, seven. I'm like, yo, there's no way, bro. I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I'm still trying to be in sports because I still love sports. But, okay. you know, I don't have 
professionalize it because that's like that's a really like you need to like dedicate like, really, your life to this yeah, right now like de- de- real dedication i don't know if i'm, I'm up for that i'm dead i'd rather be dedicated somewhere else you know what i mean okay i feel that secure a little bit for myself at least yeah but it's for me you know i'm just always interested in it and i just want to continue it like in that way like continue sports but like not playing it, you know? okay i like that because we still want to know who dylan is and how you know he's surviving through his university you know, so tell us, how do you just unwind after a stressful week of school, man? On the real though, you know, I get in my room, turn on some Netflix, bro. Turn on some, um, turn on some like transform. I love Transformers. Or like, yeah. call my girlfriend and just like lie on my bed, take a nap, or just go to sleep for 12 hours straight, and have this guy wake me up at like 11 by bro, nine at my door. Bro, you, you really can't be sleeping like that, man. I think that's the only thing that Dylan and I we fight about is, bro, you gotta wake up. There's so so much to do in the day and bro it's just still out cold at 1 p.m yeah. skipping breakfast bro several times the, the fire alarm's gone off <laughs> he thought, sleeps through bro, it bro i thought i thought it was my alarm clock and then it was going off and i was like bro i was like yo what, what's going on with my alarm i was i was hitting i was hitting just like bro why is this thing turning off then i hear i see in the group chat guys there's a fire i'm like oh shoot anyways we got a blue jays game to catch that's gonna be more over there yeah Skidoop. We weren't really able to record at the Blue Jays game, but we went, and it was a good time. However, I was quite disappointed. Not because the Blue Jays lost 8-1, to but because there was no chicken dance competition. I ended up falling asleep because the truth is, I really know nothing about baseball. But Dylan enjoyed it, and that's what we're here for. You, you, you have put me through a day now, Dilo, and I thank you for that. I really enjoyed this, and it's been day in the life of a sport media student, yes, <laughs> the man Dylan Isog. Yes, sir. Are out. Peace.